Hi, this is Rick Pedley, and welcome to PK Safety Supply. Today we're going to look at the 3M6001 Organic Vapor Cartridge. The 3M6001 comes in a sealed bag. I've cut the top off here, make it easier to show you. A uh, sealed bag, very important that uh, they be sealed in that uh, some uh, organic vapors can be absorbed straight out of the air. So this, uh, so when you're done with what, done with using them, keeping them in a Ziploc bag, something like that, would be a good idea. Extend their life. Um, so what we've got here is a plastic cartridge, and it's containing granulated charcoal. This granulated charcoal is held between these, this little plastic grid, and then behind that there's a fabric there. Now the fabric is only intended to hold the the granules in place. It is not intended to be a dust filter. So there is a dust filter that goes on top of this, either the 5N11 or 5P71 held on with a retainer. And we'll look at that in another video. Um, so what is an organic vapor cartridge good for? That's kind of the question. So it, when we're thinking about uh, organic vapors, we're thinking about solvents primarily. That's the thing that comes up most often. So if I'm doing uh, paint spraying, for instance, and I've got a solvent-based paint, this is going to absorb that. If I'm working on uh, something like a latex paint, uh, it's going to absorb the odors out of that. So as things go through here, the thing to remember about a cartridge versus a filter is that a cartridge has uh, absorbs like a sponge. So as it goes through, it, it's going to soak up what it can. So there means two things. First, uh, there's only so much it can absorb at one time. If you think about water running over a sponge, if you drip it on, no problem. If you turn the, the tap on too fast, it's, it's going to overwhelm it and just going to run over the side of it. Same basic thing happens here. If the organic vapors get too dense, let's say you're using some sort of uh, solvent or paint in, a, in an enclosed room, you can get to the point where it's, uh, it, the concentration is so big, this thing can't absorb it. Okay, That's the first thing. Second thing is that over a period of time, it can absorb only so much. That is, um, there's only so much absorptive surface on, the, on this charcoal inside here, and it doesn't dry out. You can't uh, recharge them or uh, air them out. That doesn't work. Uh, there's chem uh, chemical bonds that take place when it goes through and the, the surface gets used up. So these are um, kind of, they call them trapezoidal in shape. They're uh, narrow at one end, larger in the other. When you're putting onto the uh, either 6,000 full face or half mask, or the 7500 series half mask, there's a connector on the back. Now this connector is a so-called bayonet connector. Quarter turn goes onto the mask. Uh, we've looked at that in another video. Uh, it's pretty simple, easy to do. Fits on the mask quite, quite readily. Um, and it's a swept back design that is the front of the mask would go like this so the larger portion of it is out of your view. Um, they come with a little instructional sheet, uh, not a whole bunch of information there, but um, there you go. Very popular product. We sell a ton of these. Um, thank you very much for looking in.